Hey guys, um, okay, so I know it's been a really long time since I made a video, but I'm starting back up. I'm sorry my computer, like, totally crashed or whatever, and just, like, quit working for no apparent reason, and, um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, these are some things that I've made while my computer's been broken. I made a bowl of mashed potatoes, my first bowl of mashed potatoes. Make sure and watch this in HD, because you're not gonna be able to see anything I'm doing. Okay, and then this little steak, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Really cute. Or I think it's really cute. And then, and then a ham. Yep. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the potatoes today. And then my next tutorial will probably be on the ham or just something else kind of like that. Similar. And I finally found Fimo liquid or deco gel, whatever. So happy. Well, actually, I didn't find it. My friend from England brought it for to me. So yeah. So the materials you're going to be needing today are of course your blades and anything that you use like every freaking time you make something. You're going to need some whipped cream and this is in a Nutella bottle and it's just some Fimo soft with a little bit of water and of white Fimo soft with a little bit of water and like a whole thing of triple thick Sculpey. I'll have, I think I have a tutorial up on that but if I don't just search it. So there's a lot, so I need to make some more, because I have, like, barely any left, but there's a, kind of a lot in there still, but, yeah, that's what you're going to need, you're going to need that, and then a brownish, kind of toasted color into a little container, well, you don't have to, I just always keep it like that, some yellow, um, some, you know, this, Sculpey, you don't need this, but I just kind of fell in a picture, and then you need some, like, dill from the kitchen chopped up, because that's going to be, like, our... Uh, thing over the potatoes. Like, you know when you go to um, Red Lobster and they have that? Yeah, I think it's cool. Oh, and then you're going to need just a little um, square of wood so you can, like, stir it up on. Or you can also use um, what I call my translucent liquid sculpey board. It's just something covered in duct tape. It's real hard. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let me get my camera situated here. I actually have like two different colors of yellow, like a really light kind of toasted yellow and then like a really yellow color. And then wipes are always good to have on hand. Okay, so, and then you know your toothpicks, whatever that you're going to use to get out of this. I use this little thing that is pretty much my, my savior. It's from Dentex. Um, it's for like te teeth stuff, but I found it because my sister used to have like teeth problems with her back teeth. So I found this and now I'm using this. Okay, so you just want to get some out with your little tool. You can use a toothpick. I used to use toothpicks, but I was tired of wasting my toothpicks and because they would always break after doing this. So you can use accordingly to, or put how much accordingly you need. And then you, I'm just going to put it in a little wooden bowl. But you can put it on a platter or whatever you want to have it on. Make a bowl, something like that. But I have wooden bowls. You know, I did not make them, because I'm not that great. Okay, so you're going to take that. Then you want to um, get out your, where did I put that? Oh, right there. Uh, bacon bond or translucent little skull key, TLS. Um, and just go all over with that. And I'm sorry, I blab a lot in my videos. I, just, I noticed that. So I was watching some of my videos downstairs to see if I needed to change anything about my tutorial making. Okay. So you're going to do that. But, and then you're just going to start up. Get it like a little softer than it was. Because this stuff will like dry. Not this stuff. Your whipped cream. Okay, now this is when the toothpick comes in hand. Or actually, you don't really need one. Just take your thing. And twist some around onto and then get a little of your yellow color and put it in, on in there like so get it in there like that just mix it on in there until you get a nice yellowy color because that's the color of the butter I guess you could say okay and then you just want to 
put a little more yellow of the darker yellow. I'm going to do this because, you know, it's always nice to have yellowy mashed potatoes, I guess you could say. Because it knows that it has butter in it. Okay, like that. And now you want to um, just get it all mixed up and stuff. Oh, and if you're wondering, I this used to be like really like light. I flipped it over and the other side is like kind of whitish. But I wanted something bright and happy in my videos, so I flipped it back over. And plus my other side was getting pretty dirty because I had put so many chalks on my table. Okay, so you're going to, after you do that, um, you want to take your little bowl and set it out like and take the bowl. Oops, that is way too many rolls. Take this and put it like that. And then I, uh, this is flour. And I'm going to add a little flour to my mixture of mashed potatoes because it's too liquidy. Way too liquidy. And you want it to be a little, like, kind of hard, I guess you could say. And yes, you can bake flour. <laughs> you bake it and stuff. People always ask me, can you bake flour? Um, flour's in, um, a lot of dessert items that are cooked. So yes, okay. Then you want to take your uh, bowl, wooden bowl, and just try to roll this all up into a little ball. And just put it like so into the little bowl. Like that. And it's going to become like, it's very, uh, I guess you could say soft, so it's like very um, movable. <laughs> But you just want to get it all up in there and scoop it all in there. It looks pretty bad right now, but you're not finished. Okay, wet in your finger. It's like dip it in something. And then, because I have like a bowl of water, I usually dip it in. Or you can lick your finger. I mean, that's really gross, but you know, whatever. Okay, now here comes the little time for this. I usually just move my product over. And put, oop, that is way too much. Put just a little out there, because it has some big leaves. Ooh, and it smells really weird. Okay, and then you just want to chop, chop it up. And this will go everywhere. And you can just scrape it back in. And you're going to take your mashed potatoes and just sprinkle it accordingly over. And blow some off, and that's your mashed potatoes. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and make sure you watch my videos for a bunch of other polymer clay tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.